Haven't done a Walkabout Wednesday for a while, so I thought today would be a good day. Uh, we do have our messes going on and whatnot, but golly sakes, I guess there's always messes. So well, let's flip the camera around. Today's Walkabout Wednesday, so let's take a peek of what's going on. We got our window decorated with the green and white for what holiday? Uh, must be St. Patty's Day close and around. And we've got some great things. I don't know if you've seen the, the YouTube on uh, the what some services that we provide, but this happens to be the set that uh, you may have seen in that video. <clears throat> this is something that needs to go outside that we will display with. But check that TV out. Hmm. Where's the remote? Yes, it does work. It's a tube. It's kind of cool. And this unit, it's got really cool speakers. Kind of fun to have the piano in here because we get people that will come in and play and actually play a great song. We get to see some hidden talents. Got some color going on. Glassware galore. Look at this. Oh, not getting a good picture of it. The backlight. Ah, there we go. A pump organ that's been turned into a wine bar. Really kind of cool. And we'll come over and kind of change the walking pattern a little bit. Have some great cabinets. Absolutely love this dresser. This dresser is a 19, not 19, 18, late 1800s. <clears throat> this makes me think of ET. We need the basket on the front. Lots and lots of coolers. You know, when I do these videos, now I know what customers feel like. They just don't know which way to turn. We uh, got purchased a huge collection of the opaque blue Fenton. It just looks really, it just kind of pops. So the question is, put down in the comments, how many pieces of blue opaque Fenton do you see? Because we've got it stashed all over the store. We made it kind of easy right here. This is blue opaque Fenton. This is what I'm talking about is that kind of Fenton. And we're looking for the blue, not the green, because we got a bunch of green too. But be looking for that in the, throughout the video and put it in the comments. I'd love to see it. We'll load this on YouTube. It's on our, going to be on our face page, Facebook page. Look at this beauty. This is 1950s. It runs, it cools. It is absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't ask for a better piece. Uh, just, and it is original. Fell in love with it as soon as we saw pictures of it, so we had to have it. Our Coca Cola scale is sold. So our Coca-Cola corner was getting small, but now it is enlarged again. Notice we used to have the Dr. Pepper machine right there. That sold and is getting picked up today. <clears throat> Uranium glass. We got the Disney. And we can't forget the little bears in the little rocking chair. Okay, who's got the grandchild that needs a little rocking chair? That's old oak, solid oak. That will hold up. This sign, would, this sign right here would be really cute on a coffee bar. I might have to take that home. Beautiful glassware. We have some signs going on. 
Look at this, vintage wrapping paper. Isn't that cool? This take you back to the times. Beautiful dresser just came in. Sold a bench and a table, so that needed to get filled up. I really like that sign too. Stained glass end table. Look at this beautiful dresser. Got some marble top. Isn't that awesome? It's roll top. I'm not roll top. Duh. That's a waterfall. Those are original bake light candles. Holes. Ton of dressers to choose from. Look, we got a new popcorn machine. Our other one was blowing the breakers, so we thought it was time, and it just w happened to walk in the door. <clears throat> yes, things like that walk in the door. So our old popcorn machine is ready to be sold. We need to do a little work on it. Vintage coach purse. Looks to be original, truly coach. Lots of coins. We got a mini, a mini toy section here. Guy stuff, models, signs. This is just the tip of the iceberg of the models. We got a bunch more boxed up that we're waiting. We even have some Legos, all different sizes. We got girls' Legos, boys' Legos, a little Harry Potter going on. Check these guys out. The Dino Bryce, I think those are 1970s. And who remembers their parents standing in line and fighting to get Cabbage Patch dolls? Let alone a twins. We got some stuffies going on for the littles. Kinds of cool little stuffies. These will disappear rapidly. Those are just 50 cents a piece. A little of everything case. Plenty of clothes to choose from. Some great clothes. Whoops, we got some more models, some more toys. This unit down here, we can't see it, but it's a 3D slide projector. And it's got the 3D glasses and the whole nine yards. That's 1960s. Records are growing. We sell a ton of records. How about a vintage fur coat? What do you think? This is where we just expanded back. This was the annex, and we decided we can go ahead and display items in full display. We got some 
amazing pictures. That unit just came in. That was a trailer load. Interesting story. The guy comes in and um, wanted to know if we were interested. He wanted to consign a space. And uh, he had a trailer load of mom stuff. And we're doing a YouTube. We get doing a YouTube. Uploading the YouTube on that. Um, but that's one of the pieces. A lot of the, some of the pieces we've already sold that came in and that was just a couple days ago sometimes we will wholesale it cool boats ships <clears throat> how about this in the comments what is this what year is this from? And why is the A up here and not down here? What exactly do these drawers do? And this actually pops up and this will close down. What is that? Sit here in the comments. This is another unit here that came in to that purchase. So we're in the middle of resetting this. Beautiful little dresser, oak dresser. I thought this would be perfect as a copy bar. Somebody cut this top portion here. You'll see that. In the mirror. Cider press. And this is just the last of it. And back in the corner. I have a feeling these things are going to be going fairly rapidly since uh, spring is now hit. This is a beautiful, you saw that from the other angle, from the, it's a Shannon filing cabinet. I think it came out of the Mellon Bank out of uh, New York. We're missing a few drawers. But this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, that about wraps it up. Come out and visit us, message us. Uh, we're going to be putting a lot of uh, some of our bigger items uh, and some of our items on our website. So we'll have an e-commerce page so you can actually purchase them directly from there as well. Okay, I forgot to show you this. This is just amazing. Who needs a 13 foot Burmese python in their house? Can you imagine the stories that this python had to tell and how many, how many humans did it eat? All the way up to the ceiling. We've got to put it on an angle because it's too large for the whole building. So, it is amazing. All right, come check us out. Like our YouTube channel, subscribe, so then you can get notifications when we upload. We'll end it with this.